Sarah, why don't you sit closer to the mic? You can say what you want. Yeah? How's the angle? Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. All right, welcome to the Fireside Chat with Astrolabs founders tonight. Um, we're very happy to have you here. I'm um, just going to explain a little bit about what we're going to do tonight and the company and start of grind, and then we'll get right into the Q&A. So Astrolabs is the only Google-partnered tech hub in the MENA region. And um, they'll tell you a little bit more about it. But basically, for a monthly fee, you can get everything from a license to registering your company. You can open a bank account here, all without a local sponsor. And you have this fabulous workspace with access to mentors. Um, and it is the only tech hub that is partnered with Google for Entrepreneurs, which is a big deal. It enables startups to tap into Google's amazing network of subject matter experts and um, these guys right here. So it's a privilege to speak tonight with the founders of Astrolabs. We have Mohamed Maki and Louis Lipus. Both of them are Arab Americans and they have amazing backgrounds. They co-founded Nemshi.com, which is an e-commerce portal. They did this in 2011 and they both work together at McKinsey. Um, both have Ivy League pedigrees. So over here we have the Muhammad Mekki was a uh, graduate of Wharton School of Business, and he is, has a Stanford MBA, while Louis Lipus holds a Master's in Business Administration from Harvard University. I'm Sarah Hamden. I'm a New York Times journalist. I've been here for five years doing that. I've lived in Dubai for 10 years. My past life, I worked as a banker, didn't suit me at all, but I keep writing about finance, which I find very interesting because I get to meet very inspiring people like these two. Um, a little disclaimer here, I had a baby two months ago, and he still doesn't sleep through the night, so if I seem like I'm repeating a question or I yawn, it's not you, it's me, I'm just really <laughs> tired, but uh, bear with me. And the only reason that I decided to moderate this panel tonight is because I'm very passionate about startups, and I think that Startup Brand is doing a great job. Um, so before we jump into the Q&A, I'll just tell you a little bit about Startup Grind. It's powered by Google for Entrepreneurs, which I mentioned earlier. It's a global startup community designed to educate, inspire, and connect entrepreneurs around the world. The community hosts monthly events like these around the world, um, more than 50 cities and 20 countries. And they feature successful local founders and innovators. So this is the second time we believe that they're doing it in Dubai. And so a big thank you to the volunteers, and there are many students here, from my understanding, which is great. Um, uh, one quick comment about questions. If you have any, we'll get to them. I'll ask you to please tweet them. This is the model that Startup Brain likes to follow. So you have to tweet them to my handle, which is at Sarah Hamden. I don't know if there's a place where we can write it for them to remember. It's just at S-A-R-A-H-A-N-D-A-N. And then I'll read through the list and address all the questions that you have after about 45 minutes. So I am going to turn over now to Mohammed and Lewis, thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, I gave a little bit of a brief about Astrolabs, but if you can tell us a little bit about what's special about Astrolabs, and um, if you have any funny stories to share about companies that have started up here. Uh, I guess I'll start with something, uh, 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 I guess, uh, what is it about Astrolabs, and maybe funny stories come up. Great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so uh, I mean, the idea behind Astrolabs at the beginning when we started was us experiencing kind of issues that startup founders face and meeting both hands, the founders who are facing many of those uh, same problems, uh, the entrepreneurs themselves, some, some, you know, as peers, some as we were mentoring. And on the other hand, meeting with, um, let's uh, call them, well-intentioned people who wanted to support the startup ecosystem, but um, really don't understand it, right? Um, like, oh, what should we do? Uh, is it, uh, you know, bring global venture capital company to uh, Dubai to support, you know, really not, uh, not knowing what to, uh, how to support it, right? So the idea is um, create an organization that specifics on very, uh, focuses on very specific um, issues that the founders are facing and uh, tries to solve them in a sustainable way, right? So the first thing that we created was actually a program. It was a three-day program called uh, Scaling Online Startups. And um, the logic behind it was we just faced those issues starting Nemshi from you know, the first uh, two people. Uh, 
and then scaling it through issues and you know mistakes and all this stuff, and a lot of uh, you know growth, and uh, diluting that or condensing it actually <laughs> into uh, distilling it uh, into three days uh, that uh, founders uh, can you know sit through it. Um, and kind of learn from our uh, successes and mistakes. So it's as much a hub for founders as it is for entrepreneurs. Oh, sorry, for investors as it is for founders. So the program actually mostly directed to founders. Okay. Um, each program we've done scaling on startups 14 times now, maybe across the region. Uh, the first one was, you know, a kind of test, right? We selected 10 startups in Dubai. Uh, this this was May 2013. And uh, back then we were like, okay, let's pick uh, 13 startups uh, or 10 startups that are um, kind of like have proven themselves but uh, have not scaled yet. And let, let's see if we can, uh, you know, work with the founders and like, teach them something valuable, right? How uh, did you pick them? That uh, so that, yeah. that initial batch was a lot of fun. Actually, the, the story of, of kind of getting this thing started was that we had, you know, we, we, we'd been through a lot together through the whole Nemshi experience and there was lots of like, you know, lots of positives, lots of negatives, lots of like, uh, you know, learnings from the experience. And we really wanted to be able to uh, take that and as Lewis was saying, build our own institution that would do something to really support the ecosystem around here. And the first step was kind of like, okay, let's figure out where we can add some value based on what we've learned. And we tried to craft that program. And then it was like, how do we find the first 10 startups who, um, Actually, it was free, so we, we didn't charge them anything. But more importantly, they're super busy people trying to scale up a company, like founders of, at that time, a small company called Kareem, uh, Sukhan Mal. Uh, some of the companies probably 